Hello everybody, this video goes over assignment number one for the Programming Language Concepts course, CS311. This is assignment number one and a few details on it uh, to get you oriented with what you need to do. Um, so the objectives of the assignment is to get some practice with C++ or Java or C and also to understand lexical analysis phase of the program compilation. So before you uh, attempt this assignment, I would watch the videos and read the material on the lexical analysis phase. Um, so are, you are familiar with the phases of compilation, and so you know what lexical analysis really is. Um, so lexical analysis takes out what's in the text file that you write when you write a program. So let's say, for example, you're writing a program in C, the C compiler um, in the lexical analysis stage parses out the file, just takes all of the, 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 the words you're sticking into the file and breaks them out into lexemes. And then, then you turn those lexemes into tokens. Um, and that's the first stage of the compilation process. So what you're doing in this assignment is really writing the first stage. You're gonna write like a GCC or a compiler itself. So the first phase of compilation is called scanning or lexical analysis. The phase, this, this particular phase interprets the input program as a sequence of characters and produces a sequence of tokens, which the parser is going to use. We're only writing the first step, which is this tokenizing or this, this reading of the lexemes. So you're going to write a program. You're going to write the program in Java, C, or C++. And it's going to implement a simple scanner. So you're going to have a source code file that's given at the command line. So you write in, for example, if you typed in GCC space um, hello.c or Java C space um, hello.java, um, those are command line statements. And so you're going to write one like my program space hello.c or whatever you call your source code file. And it's going to read your source code file in and perform the lexical analysis. Um, so the format of the tokens is described below. This is a sample format. Uh, you can assume that the input is syntactically correct. You do not have to check for errors in the input file. Optionally, your program can build a symbol table, but I would not recommend doing it unless you have a lot of time to yourself. Um, so a hash table is a good choice. It is optional. You do not need to build a symbol table. If you don't know what a symbol table is, it means you haven't watched the videos yet and you don't know anything about the compilation process yet, uh, which you probably want to do before you do this assignment. Um, so the symbol table would contain an entry for each one of the tokens that's found in the input, in the input file. When all the input has been read, your program should produce a summary report that includes a list of all the tokens that appeared in the input, the number of times each token appeared in the input, and the class of each token. For your program, it uh, should also list how many times each token of each cat times tokens of each category appeared in the input. You could do this any way you want. For example, your program output might say, I received two data types. The data types were an int and a float. And I received five identifiers, and they were I, A, B, and C. Um, depends on your token categories in terms of what you're going to be looking for. Here's some sample token categories. You could look for keywords, identifiers, integers, reals, numbers. Uh, you probably could do data types, characters, numbers. You can make up these categories. You want five categories. So I would not use case. Uh, case sensitivity is distinguishing between the tokens. Uh, the delimiters can be spaces, tabs, new lines, or special characters. You only need to use one delimiter in your implementation. Uh, you don't have to check for new lines, tabs, and special characters. I would do spaces. Space delimiting is um, fairly easy to do. Um, your choice, you, you choose five token categories um, or use the sample ones above if you want. I don't know if I'd really use those. They're kind of convoluted. These are the token categories. For example, a token category, and, and what I just mentioned a few minutes ago, I said data types. You could have a token category called data types. And in the token category, you could have ints, floats, doubles, strings, um, characters. Um, you know, those would be all examples of data types. 
Um, your program output uh, can be ordered in any way that you want. That is pretty much the assignment. Uh, so you're going to read a text file in. You're going to parse it out to, to find out what's in the file. You're going to make a list of those things and identify them. So if I wrote, you know, integer i in the file, it would say, oh, we got a data type. It's int. And we got i. That's an identifier. So you're basically pretty much just reporting what's in the file. I would definitely watch the videos, however, so you know what you're doing. Uh, but you're going to read a file. And when it says command line arguments, that's the uh, main is going to take in, your program main is going to take in the name of the file so it can open the file and perform some file I.O. on it. Um, if, you need, if you have problems, you've never opened up a file to read it before, you have problems with command line arguments uh, or anything like that, you can send me an email message. I can give you some sample code for that if you're, if you're depending upon your programming skills. And you should be able to open up a C file or a Java file, open a file any way you want to open it and read what's inside of it, identify what's inside of it, and then report on what's inside of it is what you're doing. Um, you don't have to save the data because we're not going to use it. You don't have to do stage two. You're only doing stage one of the lexical analysis. So go ahead and learn what scanning and lexical analyzers do. Uh, and that's what you're writing. You're writing a lexical analyzer. Lexical Analyzer, you're writing that for the first assignment. So I hope you've enjoyed this description. Um, it's fairly simple. Don't read into it. The stuff in purple is what I want to see in the output. Any order you want to put it in is fine. Any token categories you want are fine, as long as you have five categories. These are just examples of what might go into a category. Um, anything you want to use is fine. And you can delimit it any way you want by space, by new line, by special characters. Uh, use any delimiters you want. Go ahead and watch those videos that are in the week one materials about the compilation process. And this is going to make a lot more sense to you. If you do have questions, please do feel free to contact me. I am uh, available to help you with that. Thanks for watching.